Hi guys, I hope you're doing all well. So for today's video, I am going to be doing this mauve smoky eye look, which by the way, I'm so obsessed with. So if you want to see how I got this look, just carry on watching. To create a base for my eyes, I'm going to be using this NYX product all over my lid. And then I'm just going to make sure to blend it with a little sponge. I'm going to be using the Deck of Scarlet Makeup Palette, which for those who don't know, it's a makeup subscription where every two months you get a new makeup palette with all the products that you need for a complete look. So basically, it costs less to get a subscription than for a single product from like Sephora. This season's palette comes with three eyeshadows, blush, highlighter, two lip colors and a lip chubby. Plus, each new palette is done in collaboration with a different YouTuber, which is actually so cool. So guys, make sure to go and check them out. I'm going to leave everything down below so you can have a look and see yourselves. Now, moving on into my eyeshadow. I'm going to start off by applying my transition shade, which is this kind of like a light golden shadow. And I'm going to be packing in all over my crease and just blending it all out. And this is actually the blush, I'm not using the eyeshadow, but it works just as fine because the quality is so good and it's so pigmented. So I think it looks really nice anyway. <laughs> And now to define even more the crease, I'm going to be using this purpley mauve shadow. And what I'm doing first is I'm just packing in, like it looks really messy at the moment. But then after I'm just going to blend it all out and it's so easy to blend so it works fine. Like And because I'm really focusing on using warm shadows for this look, I am going to be applying this peach eyeshadow on my lid. And this is going to kind of like create some definition because you will see that I'll make my outer corner darker. So I really want this to be from a light shade into like a transition shade and like a darker shade. Now, using this Matchbox Double Exposure Palette, I'm going to be packing in the black on my outer corner. So and now, cleaning up the corners, which is honestly so satisfying to watch. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm going to be doing some eyeliner and I decided not to go a bit too crazy like I wasn't doing a wing I'm just doing a basic eyeliner so my lashes look a bit fuller and now I'm gonna be putting on some mascara because after that obviously we're gonna be putting some fake eyelashes on and then to completely finish with the eyes I'm gonna be packing in the mauve color on my lower lash line Now moving on to my face, this is the primer that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be applying this on my cheeks, on my nose, chin and a little bit on my forehead because I cannot do my makeup without primer, like I have to wear primer before I do my foundation. And for foundation I'm using this Rimmel product and can you tell the difference on the colour? Like my face is so so white. And it's not because I fake tan, it's just, I don't know, every time I try and sunbathe, I find it so hard to get a tan on my face. 
don't know why but anyways the, the concealer I'm gonna be using now is my absolute favorite and you guys know the drill I just like to apply it under my eyes on my nose and on my chin and I think that this makes such a difference as well like it literally you can see that it's straight away it brightens up my face for bronzer, I'm actually going to do kind of like a contour, so I've got this little brush and I'm just drawing all the lines of where I like to contour my face, which is on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my jawline and it looks awful for now, but I will get a big brush and I'll just start blending it all in and it's all good to go. And for my blusher, I am using this MAC blusher, which is not actually pink. I wanted to keep it like a bronzy look, so it's this really dark shade that I love. For my lipstick now, I'm using the color Hug Me, which is like an old favorite that I used to use all the time. And definitely, last but not least, my highlighter from MAC as well, which is soft and gentle. And guys, that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the result. If you ever try and recreate one of my looks, please make sure to send me on Twitter, on Instagram, and tag me on it because I would love to see what you guys do. And I'll see you with another video next week. Bye!